The solid state. The solid state of matter is characterized by the following properties. Its volume is fixed. It will not expand to fill a container, unlike gases and plasmas. Most solids are incompressible. Their volume hardly changes when pressure changes, unlike gases and plasmas. Solids are not fluids, so they cannot flow. Their shapes do not adapt to that of their containers, unlike liquids, gases, and plasmas. Solids are condensed matter, so their volumes are similar to those of liquids, and much smaller than gases and plasmas. The liquid state. The liquid state of matter is characterized by the following properties. Its volume is fixed. It will not expand to fill a container, unlike gases and plasmas. Most liquids are incompressible. Their volume hardly changes when pressure changes, unlike gases and plasmas. Liquids are fluids, so they can flow. Provided there is gravity, their shapes adapt to that of their containers, unlike solids. Liquids are condensed matter, so their volumes are similar to those of solids and much smaller than gases and plasmas. The gas state. The gaseous state of matter is characterized by the following properties. Its volume is not fixed. It will expand to fill a container, unlike solids and liquids. It is compressible. Its volume changes when pressure changes, unlike solids and liquids. Gases are fluids, so they can flow. Their shapes adapt to that of their containers. The atoms or molecules in a gas are spread much more thinly than the particles in solids and liquids. So again, characteristics of solid are that it retains a fixed volume and shape, it is not easily compressible, and it does not flow easily. It is rigid, so its particles do not move past one another. Liquid assumes the shape of the container it occupies. It is not easily compressible, and it flows easily because the particles move past one another. Gas assumes the shape and volume of its container. It is compressible, and it flows easily. An example of gases, liquids, and solids with one uh, element would be water. When water is solid like ice, it is structured and does not flow. When you add heat, it melts and becomes water, liquid. And then, when you heat it even further, it becomes steam and it is a gas. So now that we know the science, let's go ahead and test it out with some hands-on experiments. So for the first experiment, all you will need is ice, a stove or a source of heat, and a container. So you're going to put the ice in your container and expose it to the heat. And all of a sudden you will see that the solid ice turns into the liquid form of water. And as it continues to heat up, it will then start to boil, which will create steam or the gas version of water. So this is a super simple experiment that you can do at home that you can see all three states of matter. For this next experiment, you will need an empty water bottle, a balloon, baking soda, white vinegar, and a funnel. For your first step, you're gonna take two tablespoons of baking soda and use the funnel to funnel it into a balloon. Then you will take your funnel and place your half cup of white vinegar into your empty water bottle. Remove the funnel, and then you are going to take the balloon and put it on top of the water bottle. Now it's very important to make sure that your balloon is securely attached before lifting it up. Now before we lift it up and see the results, let's just remind ourselves that the white vinegar is our liquid and our baking soda is a solid. So when we combine these two together, it's actually going to make a gas. So let's go ahead and see that. Wow! So this is a wonderful experiment that shows how two things combine together, a solid and a liquid, and actually form a gas. So the gas in the balloon is actually carbon dioxide, and the reaction that is occurring is a chemical reaction. So what is happening? The vinegar acts as an acid 
and the baking soda acts as a base. And so when those two combine, it creates a reaction, a chemical reaction, and creates something new, carbon dioxide in the form of a gas. So we would love for you to try this experiment at home. And if you do, please tag us on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks. Bye.